It's a common knowledge that many mammals often hunt sea dwellers. Take bears or seagulls, for example. But it just happens so that this principle works the other way around as well. Inhabitants of the seas, lakes and rivers feast on land animals and insects. You're watching Fact or Fiction, and today we're talking about some truly incredible water creatures that eat land animals. Let's roll! Killer Whales Killer whales are marine mammals. They're cetaceans of the toothed whale suborder. They are the only type of killer whale genus. These guys are large and dangerous predators. By the way, they are the only ultimate predator that chases other animals. The thing about killer whales is that they practically don't have any rivals because they're at the very top of the food chain. This is of course due to their enormous size. Males usually reach a length of 10 meters and have a mass of about 8 tons. Females are a little smaller, they're about 8.5 meters in length. They have very powerful jaws and sharp teeth. But the most important thing about killer whales is their tactical thinking. It allows them to hunt not only water creatures but also land animals. Talking of the sea, killer whales can stray into a group and surround a school of fish to drive them near the water surface and then stun them with the hits of their tail. As for land, killer whales set up real ambushes and attack land animals when they least expect it. For instance, killer whales often attack seals that rest on ice near the shore. They hunt down these seals in a group, usually they would sail into the ice foe, creating a powerful wave with their tail, dumping the poor fellows into the sea, and then chewing them up with their massive jaws. Archerfish Archerfish are a type of ray fin fish that come from the Persiform order. This fish is very common in India, Australia, Polynesia, Philippines and Thailand. They usually live in fresh stagnant water in small ponds in the mangra. These guys have a sort of flattened body and a slightly protruding lower jaw. The length of the usual archer fish is rather small and ranges from 5 to 10 centimeters. Despite the fact that archer fish looks pretty and peaceful, they are cruel and merciless when it comes to hunting. Basically, archer fish spit water at their victims, and the length of the water shot can reach 2 meters if we're talking about a fish of a large size. The average shot is about a meter in length. They learn how to spit when they reach the size of about 2.5 centimeters. Here's their hunting tactic. The fish chooses a victim above the water, follows its movements, then freezes right under the victim, and then shoots water at it. Usually, their victims are small insects. Rainbow Trout Rainbow trout, also known as mycus, is a fish of the salmon family. It looks very pretty, and it's got some serious hunting skills. In Asia, mycus can be found in Kamchatka River, and some of it can sometimes be found in the mainland coast of the Sea of Okhotsk, which is in the Amur, Liman and Commander Islands. In America, this species of fish lives just about everywhere, from Alaska all the way down to California. Rainbow trout is famous for its ability to jump high in the air. When caught in the net of a fisherman, it fights and resists with all its might to break free. Their diet is very diverse. They practically try to catch anything that moves, including insects, small fish, and even small land mammals. Until 2013, people didn't even know that rainbow trout eat mammals. One time, they found 20 shrews in the stomach of a fish, Further research showed that mycus mostly feed on other fish and rodents, as well as chicks of birds and other small animals that dwell near water. The most successful season for hunting land animals comes during the mating season, when there's plenty of prey for the fish. Researchers still can't say how exactly rainbow trout catches small mammals. They assume that they attack mice and shrews and drown them when they're too close to water. In other times, land animals enter the water, letting themselves into a trap of a hungry mycus. Giant Trevally The Giant Trevally is a large sea fish. Its unusually large and powerful head, big body and strong tail is what differs it from most of its relatives. The Giant Trevally is a perch-like fish, and as the name suggests, this giant is the largest representative of the species of Trevallys. The largest trevally can reach a length of 170 centimeters and weighed about 80 kilos. Giant trevally can be found everywhere from southern Africa to Hawaii. It doesn't dwell too deep underwater. 
although adults are more likely to be found on deep reefs and large bays at a depth of 10 to 100 meters. Chances to find this beautiful fish are quite high, so once you're in the area, definitely look out for it. Their diet is very diverse. It includes both crustaceans and mollusks. And if that seems unusual to you, well, these guys also hunt flying birds. To catch a prey of that caliber, the trevally literally jump out of water and soaring into the air. Oftentimes, giant trevally gathers around in small flocks to increase their chance of success in their very unusual hunt. Silver Arowana Silver Arowana is a tropical freshwater fish, and it's a deadly serious hunter. Arowana can jump out of water and grab birds, insects, and even snakes that hang from tree branches in the air. They attack so quickly that their prey ends up in the mouth of the predator before it even realizes what happened. On average, silver arowana grows up to 90 centimeters. They can jump out of water to a height of about 2 meters. In South America, these creatures are called aquatic monkeys for their unbelievable hunting skills. Arowana often prefers land animals to water dwellers. According to scientists, they mainly go after spiders, various beetles, small birds and snakes. Silver arowanas are very well adapted for hunting on land creatures. In fact, when raised in captivity, they lose their abilities and have no idea how to look up because there's simply no need to hunt. When this happens, the fish never looks up as they normally do when they hunt in the wilds. This condition, called a fallen eye, develops because of the fact that people often feed them with the type of food that quickly sinks to the bottom of the tank. Sharks Sharks are one of the main predators of the waters. There are types of sharks that don't hunt, but the vast majority of these species are ferocious predators and severe hunters. Just like with giant trevally, the diet of sharks can be very different. It depends on the characteristics and the habitat of each individual species. Most sharks are carnivorous and some species, for example a tiger shark, are omnivorous and swallow almost anything that comes their way. Of course their main diet is fish, but they also often feed on carrion and small marine mammals. Some sharks, for example cetaceans, feed on plankton, anchovies and shrimp. But it seems like white sharks prefer land animals. They often patrol small archipelagos inhabited by pinnipeds and also attack seals when they feel like it. Their diverse diet also includes sea lions and small cetaceans. Wells catfish European catfish, more commonly known as the Wells catfish, is a large freshwater, scaleless catfish family species. It lives in fresh waters, usually in lakes and rivers in Europe most commonly in Eastern Europe, in Russia to be more precise. You might call this one the fisherman's favorite. Very few people know that this massive fish gets outside water. The main diet of catfish are small crustaceans, as well as fry and aquatic insects. When catfish grows up, its length reaches 2-3 to three meters, and the weight can reach 150 kilograms. With this kind of size, it's not surprising at all that catfish can't find enough food underwater and so it starts to seek food on land. They usually start to hunt other fish, freshwater animals and large mollusks. They also sometimes attack waterfall species, pigeons for example. Above all, catfish is a master of camouflage. They're very difficult to spot during hunting, because when it moves through the water at a slow pace, it looks like some sort of large stone. Killifish Killifish is a common name for five families of carp-like fish. These guys are mostly known for their colorful appearance. They're very bright and small, and their average size ranges from 2.5 to 5 centimeters. But that's not the limit. Sometimes they can even be as long as 15 centimeters. Killifish are often distinguished by their very unique ability. These guys can do without water for several weeks. That's because these small fish use their skin to saturate their body with oxygen, which helps them maintain the balance of ions. It's a type of function naturally performed by the chills, but if it happens so that the pond dries, they can actually breathe through the skin. In addition to that, killifish can jump out of water and find food outside of their natural habitat. For example, killifish can feed on small insects they find in vegetation. And that's all for now guys, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to Fact or Fiction and don't miss out and press the bell to stay notified of upcoming videos. Also check out some of our other interesting videos you'll find on our channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.